What's up guys? I do want to give you guys an update on this car. It's I've uh, been driving it here and there. Uh, sometimes take it to work. But um, also an update. What else did I do to it? I also got the heater to work. So now in the cold mornings I have full heat and um, have no issues there. I can show you guys that how I did that. Um, I do have a small clip on my Instagram. Uh, go ahead and put that in my description. Um, on my Instagram. You guys can follow me there. I do post once in a while about this car. But um, uh, other than that. I want to go ahead and show you guys how I hooked up the RevCan 2 module. Uh, basically that little module is for the combi to work with the E90 DMB. Um, so, uh, that little module lets you read your, your coolant temp, um, your RPMs, fuel level, uh, still remains the same because we are still using the E46, our, uh, level sensor, so this reads normal, um, but other than that, all your lights should be off with this little module that we're using. Uh, let me go ahead and show you turning it on. see the rpms going going up right there temperature also works like normal uh, and yeah uh, miles power reads off the e46 side um, speed sensor so that stays that's uh, that works normal as well and as you can see you're about a thousand rpm here same over there with the e90 cluster uh, the reason I'm using the E90 cluster, again, I have this little screen that will let me know if I'm low on oil. And any warning lights, um, uh, oil pressure, or limp mode, I'll have that screen. That's pretty much the reason why I'm using the cluster in the glow box. Other than that, um, you can just use your MHD app and have all your gauges and uh, warnings for the gauges if the temp goes up. Same with oil pressures. But I just like that for the convenience. It does tell me if the oil level is low, oil pressure, any warning lights, it's gonna display on that cluster right there. Uh, other than that, let me go ahead and show you how I wired the RevCan box. Okay, so I've got the car off right now. So the RevCan box is actually here where the original E46 uh, DME would be. Uh, let's see. Uh, anyways, we do have the what do you call it here? The wine specialty specialist um, RevCan 2 box. Basically, it converts the E90 RPM signal, goes into here, and uh, converts it so the E46 combi could read it through CAN bus, okay? So basically that's what we're using it for. It lets us read the RPM and it lets us wire our coolant temperature sensor um, as well from the E46. As far as I know, there is no videos on how to wire one of these things. I looked it up and tried to see if there's anybody that actually put one of these in their car. And this actually is from an RB20, RB26 swap E46 kit. And we're using it for a BMW engine um, I guess it uses the same RPM signal basically how it works we do have a couple pins here you need uh, pin 1 for power supply switch on from the E46 a 12 volt signal when the ignition switch turns on this sends the 12 volts and it wakes up the module powers everything up this one right here would be pin 9 on the RevCan 2 module. And right next to that ground wire, we have our two CAN bus wires here. CAN bus high, CAN bus low. These two wires actually go to the E46 uh, side to the CAN bus uh, wires that go to the combi, which is these here. See if I could raise it up for you. So, 
um, they're very easy to find the, the canvas on the E46 let's see I could zoom in a little bit canvas high would be this uh, red and yellow and then we have canvas low. the low side would be this yellow brown wire we just tap into those um, I made this little little connector plug here um, to get these wired in uh, this wire would be for the ground to the coolant temperature sensor uh, pin 12 on the E46 harness we keep going oh one more down we have um, pin 16 is empty pin 17 would be your check engine light signal wire mine's not wired in but uh, this would go to the LED on the E90 cluster for the check engine light and then your and check engine light will blink um, when um, <clears throat> if it's working okay anyways uh, the next one up would be the other side if you look this is the input for the coolant temperature sensor so it is a remember it's a two wire connector over here on the coolant temp which I have it right there on mine it has a green wire and um, it has a green black wire and a white black wire okay that's how you know it's the coolant temp sensor huh, connector uh, anyways the last one here would be pin 19 so this actually goes to the DME harness um, on the E90, there is uh, the main harness. Um, it's actually, um, it goes in here. I, I can't really pull it out, but it is a black wire. The only all black wire that goes to the DME. Uh, it's gray right here because uh, this is my own wire that I put in, but if you look at the other end. here and that is the black wire that goes to the DME and that is the RPM signal and basically that's how this rev can box works well lets you uh, use your E46 cluster now this works for uh, I believe an RB as well because it's made for an RB um, so uh, yeah, that's how the RevCan module works. I'll go ahead and put in the pinout for the E46. Uh, the plug connections and pins. Same with the, e, the E90 DME to get the RPM signal. And that way you can uh, wire one of these in um, into your swap. Because I know there isn't any real um video on these on how to wire one of these things in so just uh, thought it would be nice to show you guys how uh simple it can be but um uh, but yeah guys this is a uh, just how you wire this thing in go ahead and turn it on for you guys if you guys have any more questions go ahead and leave a comment below or direct message me on Instagram I could help you guys out um, on how to wire these ones if you need a, a better description on how to do it other than that let's go drive this thing uh, I know there hasn't been any really good footage of this car driving at its uh, at its best so we're gonna go ahead and do another ride along and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one uh, without it cutting off Due to the fuel pump <laughs> all right so let's get to it all right go ahead and start her up for you guys
Running good. Alright, let's go for a ride.
do have the six uh, piston front um, Rimbo brakes from my E90 135i. Um, before, I, you would lose your brakes pretty quick. Normal. The whole no no crazy rattle. The whole car feels like like it should. Just a ton more torque. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for you guys this time. Um, Subscribe. I'm, I'm gonna keep uploading as long as I get more subscribers. Uh, um, any more questions, you guys let me know on the comments or DM me on Instagram. I don't mind doing these swaps. If you're in SoCal, uh, send me a DM. Okay. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.